This image called Earth Crisis, the cover of the book, is very simple It's in, in its symbolism. It's um, a teardrop from an eye with the, with the earth enclosed, but there are many, many, many layers to get to the, to the earth. And this is, a, you know, it's a graphic device, but it, it's, also, it's also symbolic of, and also, uh, of, of the complexity of the problem. And the size is representative of the weight of the problem. But I think that human beings respond to eyes. So there are a few people that see this and they say, oh, it's the eye from the, uh, from the pyramid on the dollar bill, which it's not. But there are a lot of conspiracy theorists out there. But really, this is just to make a, 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 a simple but hopefully powerful and compelling graphic about um, how we as human beings should be very distressed about the future of the, the, future of the planet, the way things are going. This piece, Fruits of Our Labor, is um, a piece that was inspired by uh, working with Neil Young, who is a friend of mine, um, and he's done a lot of art about the environment, I mean a lot of music talking about the environment. He has a lyric that says Mother Nature on the Run. He also did an album called The Monsanto Years about how Monsanto has too much influence over the uh, farming in the United States. They have a monopoly. But this orange is, uh, with the hand grenade is symbolic of uh, genetically modified food. And it, this is something that is very, very important to be alarmed about because too much uh, genetic diversity is important. Two things being too uh, monopolized and controlled by one source could be very, very dangerous for, for not only human beings who eat the food, but the environment also. This is my photograph from 1991. And then over there is the painting I made based on that. So 25 years apart. Um, but this piece, I photographed this because this looked like a skull to me. And it was at an abandoned gas station. It made me think that just the way the paint was peeling was sending us a message. Be careful of the pollution from oil and gas. So that's a very important early image for me. This piece called um, Natural Springs is meant to um, just demonstrate that she is a revolutionary woman who is upset that there's oil dripping off her flower. So Natural Springs, is, the title is meant to be ironic because frequently corporations name things that are very appealing. Like, uh, you know, this is, uh, it's greenwashing. They do greenwashing. So um, this is not a natural spring. Oil does not come from a natural spring. And so, um, you know, if you relate to the humanity of this person and the threat to the flower, I think it, it, it speaks for itself. This image, Enjoy Paradise Until the Tide Turns, was inspired by vintage travel postcards about going to beach resorts. But in Los Angeles, they used to have oil derricks up and down the beach until um, about 30 years ago. And off the coast of Santa Barbara, they're still Derek's there. So people usually don't see these at the beach and they just think about the good, but um, the way that we're destroying the environment, um, it's, you know, it, it, this water will be polluted. The air, you know, the air is going to be devastated. So if you, in, if you enjoy this, you really need to think about what's at stake. And also I love the phrase, the tide turns because um, when I was a kid, I used to uh, build sandcastles, and when the tide was going out, it seemed like the sandcastle would last forever. But then when the tide turned, there was no stopping it coming back and destroying the sandcastle. So I think we need to think in those terms about this issue. Sometimes I, I have to laugh so I don't cry. So this image called These Sunsets Are to Die For shows a factory's pollution making a very dramatic sunset while a couple who is oblivious enjoys the sight. Um, sometimes things are happening right in front of us, but we aren't taking it seriously. So the, the phrase in the, in, the, in, in the US that something is to die for means it's great, but in this piece, I mean it more literally, that 
it might be something that will kill you.